Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Bring You Division video. Uh, really quickly before I start off, I do want to say in my next video, I'll be doing a giveaway. It's going to be a PSN, Xbox One, or a Steam gift card giveaway. So if you guys want to enter it, make sure to check out the next video that's going to be uploaded on my channel. Anyways, welcome back to another vendor reset video. As always, if you guys are looking for anything specific like weapons, gear, gear mods, anything like that, make sure to check out the description below. There's going to be timestamps over there. So it's going to make things a little bit easier to find. Uh, but anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video or find it helpful, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, and let's get right into this. So starting off first, you guys want to check out the special blueprints vendor, and what he's actually selling is this electronics gear mod blueprints. This has been on sale for many, many weeks now, and as I said previously, if you don't have this already on your character, uh, this is something I would recommend buying, having this, and even if you're not making different builds with like Reclaimer or Tactician, having these mods and having this blueprint is just really clutch on your character because you really never know when you're going to be needing it. Up next, you guys want to visit the Special Equipment Avenger, and there's one item I would recommend buying from him. What that is, is this mod, and this is actually a 4% turret damage mod. Um, if you're making a Firecrest build, if you're making a Tactician build, pretty much anything with a turret, um, it could be a normal turret, it could be a flame turret, anything like that, this mod is really good to have on your character. Um, so as I said, if you are looking for this, once again, check out the Special Equipment Avenger. Next up, you guys want to visit the Special Blueprints Vendor at Kim Clinton, and the first thing you guys want to check out is the Surplus SVD Blueprint. This, in my opinion, is still the best semi-automatic sniper rifle in the game. Uh, for Deadeye builds, it's, it's really, really good, and even if you want to mess around with it in PvE, it does a lot of damage, it's really accurate, and just overall, it's a really good semi-automatic sniper rifle. So if you don't have this blueprint, I recommend buying it 100%. A couple spots down, you guys want to check out this Tyrant Suppressor. Uh, this is actually a critical hit chance suppressor, and if you're using a build with a lot of crit chance, or you want to use it with your SMG builds, your ARs, um, LMGs, whatever the case is, it's a really good suppressor to have, and it's going to give you a bit more crit chance, so you could do a bit more damage. Lastly, you guys want to check out this small grip blueprint. This is actually a critical hit damage grip. And as you guys know, having them on your character is pretty much the best thing to use for your weapons. Uh, critical hit damage, critical hit chance, if you stack that a lot on your build, you're going to be perfect for PvP or PvE. So if you don't have this blueprint already, I would recommend purchasing this 100%. Moving over to the Special Equipment Avenger, the first thing you guys want to check out is this Liberator. Uh, what it actually comes with is 18% enemy armor damage, 19.7k base damage, and for the talents, it has Destructive, Capable, and Talented. This, in my mind, is a really good weapon for a high electronics PvE build. If you guys are looking for anything like that, this is the best weapon, or a perfect weapon, I would say. Uh, the only thing you really have to do is get rid of capable, get competent, and as I said, this weapon will be perfect. The next item you guys want to check out is this backpack. Uh, this is actually an inventive backpack, and this kind of goes together with the weapon I just showed you guys. If you're making a 5-piece tactician, classified tactician build, or anything like that, this is a great backpack to use, it's going to give you a bit more skill power, and it's going to make your uh, secret mines or your sticky bombs even stronger. So what it comes with is 1,229 electronics, 12,223 skill power, and it also has 49% ammo capacity. Honestly, it's pretty much perfect how it is. I would recommend just getting the electronics a little bit higher, or you can go into health instead of skill power on this backpack. Um, if for some reason you think you're uh, not tanky enough, if you're dying too fast, stuff like that, it's really up to you, but in my recommendation, I would just get the electronics a little bit higher. The next vendor you guys want to visit is the Kerman Station. What he's actually selling is a VX1 scope, and this is actually a really good headshot scope. If you guys are making a Hunter's Faith build, if you're making a pretty much like a Sentry build, just anything with headshot damage, this scope is really, really good. What it comes with is 18.50% headshot damage, 4% critical hit damage, and 2.50% critical hit chance. I do think the critical hit chance can be 3%, so it's not maxed out, but besides that, it's really good, and it's almost maxed out, as I said. The Gear Avenger at Camp Hudson is next on my list, and what he's actually selling is a pretty nice prototype firearms mod. This is actually a 3% damage elite with 198 firearms, so if you guys are making a pretty good PvE build, um, and you want a bit more damage for your legendary missions or incursions, this is a mod you definitely want to buy. Up next, we're visiting the Cavern Safe House, and this time he is selling a God Roll Electronics and Skill Power mod. Uh, this is a must buy, this is 100% a buy. Um, if you don't have it already, even if you have one but it's not as good, you want to buy this. And although Electronics and Skill Power in this patch are not really that good, um, unless you're using like Reclaimer builds or Tactician builds, whatever the case is, 
this is still a mod you want to buy and keep it in your stash if you're not using it. The last Cold Avenger is the next place you guys want to visit, and the first thing he is selling is a pretty good tactical SASG-12. This one comes with 307.50% stagger, 94.4k base damage, and for the talents it has destructive, deadly, and competent. In my opinion, I would get rid of competent, get responsive, and this will be a perfect PvE shotgun uh, for like a striker build or a lone star build, whatever you want to use it with. A couple spots down if you guys want to check out this magazine, uh, this one's actually pretty good, it comes with 120% magazine size, 4% critical hit damage, and 5.50% rate of fire. If this was critical hit chance instead of critical hit damage, this would be a perfect magazine for PvP or PvE, um, but it's still pretty good if you guys are missing a decent magazine. I would recommend buying this 100%. If you guys are looking for a god roll support station range mod for your reclaimer build or your tactician healer build, you guys want to check out the ward safe house. He is actually selling one. It is a 7.50% one, which is god roll, as I said, in the game. Um, so if you guys are interested in this, once again, check out this venger. Next up, you guys want to visit the South Pole Venger. What he's actually selling is a 3% damage to elite mods with 198 electronics. As you guys know, I showed you guys the one with firearms, but if you guys are interested in the electronics one, he is selling one at the South Pole Venger. So if you want to buy this, if you are interested, once again, check this Venger out. The final open world Venger you guys want to visit is the Firewall, and what he's actually selling is a pretty nice prototype performance mod. This is actually a 4.50% ballistic shield damage resilience mod. Um, if you guys are missing this for your D3 FNC build, it's really good, I would recommend using this. But also, if you just want to buy this and keep it in your stash, it's really up to you, so as I said, check out the firewall if you are interested. Getting straight into the DZ, the first person you guys want to visit is the East 58 Street Checkpoints. What he's actually selling is a pretty nice refreshed mask, it comes with 1238 electronics, 4% critical hit chance, and 9% damage to leads. Honestly, I would get rid of the electronics, go into firearms or stamina, it just really depends on your build. The damage to elites is pretty good, um, even if you want to use this for the dark zone, it's still pretty good. Um, there's going to be a lot of mobs you come across. And also the critical hit chance is really good as well, so there's no point of rerolling that. Um, as I said, go into stamina or firearms, it's really up to you. Lastly, you guys want to check out these gloves. These are actually savage gloves, and they come with 1239 firearms, 11% shotgun damage, 15% critical hit damage, and 6% critical hit chance. The only thing it's missing is a better uh, weapon roll, like weapon damage roll, so if you want to use this with your shotguns, uh, then keep it. If you want to use this with your SMGs, then roll SMG damage. And if you want to use this with your ARs, then obviously you roll AR damage. And this will be a great fit for most builds. A couple spots down, you guys want to visit the East 46 Street Checkpoint, and the first thing he is selling that's pretty good is this Tactical Super 90. Uh, what it comes with is 335.50% stagger, 100 AK base damage, and for the talent, it comes with Meticulous, Deadly, and Unforgiving. Obviously, you want to reroll Meticulous, it's not really good on shotguns, you definitely want to get responsive, and this will be a great PvP or PvE weapon, it just really depends on you. Uh, next up, you guys want to check out this mod, this is actually another skill haste mod, but this time it is a 265 electronics one. So once again, if you're looking for a mod to use with your tactician build or your reclaimer build, this is a great buy. The East 40 Street Checkpoint is next on my list, and what he's actually selling is another mod, and this, once again, is another skill haste mod, but this time it comes with 266 firearms and 3% skill haste, uh, so if you want to use a kind of damage uh, hybrid build with electronics, like a firearms electronics build, this mod is perfect for that, and also, he is selling a pretty good Tyrant Suppressor, it comes with 7.50% critical hit chance, 4% critical hit damage, and 6% headshot damage. So if you want to use this on your submachine guns or your pistols, like I said, this is a great buy. Last but not least, you guys want to check out the West 46 Street Checkpoints. And guess what, he is selling another mod, but this time it is a 2% pulse critical hit damage mod. Um, so if you guys are making a tactician kind of pulse build, or if you want to use this for your regular build, it's really up to you. Um, but as I said, if you guys are interested, definitely check this vendor out. Anyways, that is it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And as I said in the beginning, I will be doing a giveaway in my next video, so definitely check that one out if you want to have a chance of winning. But like I said, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.